Welcome back to my channel guys. It's me Irvin with more anime news for you guys. This one's going to be very specific to very specific regions that watch my channel. Now I do I, I do check my analytics and in fact I do have quite a bit of people that watch from Mexico and not so much but still a small percentage from Brazil. Um, I am Hispanic. I, I, I know Spanish, puedo hablar muy bien español, uh, a lo mejor no perfecto, pero sí puedo hablar muy bien. Uh, so I can definitely speak Spanish, not Portuguese. Uh, Br Brazilians speak Portuguese. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, I, I do have that demographic in my channel. So I decided to give this news because it, it, it's going to be a, a pretty cool news for you guys. Um, before I continue, though, though, a few things. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We're trying to get as close as to 3,700 as we can. Uh, I know that we're not going to reach it by the time the month is over, but we've reached our goal already. I just want to see how far we can take it. Uh, I've been impressed and so happy that you guys have been supporting me far and beyond this month. Thank you so much. Uh, let's continue growing. But, okay, the news of today. Funimation uh, has finally announced that they're going to be moving their streaming service uh, or expanding it, not moving it, expanding it to Mexico and Brazil this December. Um, for those that don't know what Funimation is, Funimation is a streaming service that you can get through your phone, through your TV, through your Xbox, PS, PS4, whatever you use to watch uh, animate you can probably get the app for or just on your computer uh, I don't I can't remember exactly what the price is I do pay for it but I have it automatic but I believe it's $5.99 it could be a little bit more uh, I don't know if it will, they'll keep the same price range for Mexico and Brazil I would say when they release it they'll probably do a deal where it'll be cheaper as long as you promise to be a watcher uh, or a, a continuous, um, I guess, streamer, you, you, you probably will keep that, that price locked in. So, anyways, nothing's promised. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying they might do something like that. Now, Funimation it has been releasing subbed and dubbed, but mainly dubbed versions of anime for quite a while. They, for a bit, teamed up with Crunchyroll. They're not teamed up with Crunchyroll anymore. They are owned by Sony, and Sony essentially has kind of changed how Funimation runs stuff. And uh, I think, for the most part, it is for the better. Uh, Funimation still has its own uh, drama and stuff like that, but I think it's still, nonetheless, a company that's given us anime legally here in the U.S., and I can't complain much about that. Uh, they did announce this uh, Monday, uh, which is today on recording time. Uh, it might be a different day for you guys. Um, that they will be um, in Mexico and Brazil in December. Now, they do say the service will offer anime in Spanish and Portuguese uh, subtitles. And the dubs will be available for selective titles. So... That that means that they probably won't release a lot of dub in Spanish and Portuguese right off the bat, but they eventually will. Uh, the service will launch in Mexico and Brazil, more than 1,500 hours and more than 200 series and movies, including uh, all those. I mean, you have Sword Online, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Cowboy Bebop, Demon Slayer, Fruits Basket, Duncan Rompa, Love Live. Uh, Noragami, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl, The Promised Neverland, uh, Plunderer. I mean, they, they have quite a bit of stuff that are, that are promising, um, which I would say it's it's going to be a great service. Uh, they they do they do say that they haven't yet uh, decided when they will be um, allowing it to be an app in your phone stuff like that. For now, I think it's, it's only going to be a a website uh, available available for Mexico and Brazil, but eventually will become an app for those that have an Xbox, PS4, etc., etc. 
the streaming service currently, for those who don't know, is available in the U.S., in Canada, in the United Kingdom, and Ireland. Its content is also available in Australia and in New Zealand through Anime Lab, which is um, pretty much the same kind of company that runs together. Um, but anyways, uh, it, it gives a little, I guess, transition here. Funimation transitioned its titles to Anime Lab in Australia and New Zealand in January after shutting down its Funimation Now service in those territories. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Anyways, for now, that's pretty good news for those who live in Mexico and Brazil. You guys will get a little bit more of uh, anime and representation on your area. Now, how is that going to affect us in the U.S.? I don't think it will be a lot of effect other than Funimation will grow stronger um, in wealth, which might do better for us. They might be able to uh, buy more licenses of anime for us to watch. So it, it probably will do more better to us than anything. Uh, I, I did read in some of the comments, some people are worried that Funimation will lose focus on the English uh, side of Funimation so much that some of the stuff might fall behind because they're trying to focus on a new project. That could happen, but I don't see it being a big issue. For now, I'm happy for Brazil and Mexico. You guys deserve more anime. Uh, bienvenidos if you're here. Thank you again for your love and support. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, give a like and, and comment on my channel here or, or here on my video. Thank you again for your love and support. And like always, guys, don't be strangers.